Yo, what's good everybody? Y'all already know it's the kid face. And it's another episode of the boardroom interview with Plug In Radio. And who do I have with me today? Uh your girl MJ's in the building, period. Yeah. What's good, MJ? How you doing today? I'm amazing. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the boardroom. Thank you for having me. So you in the boardroom, I take it you got some things for us to know about, huh? Maybe, just a little bit. Tell us where you from. Okay, I'm from New York, upstate, what's good, period. Um, just trying to take over Georgia. Yeah, yeah, and how are you going about that? Like, 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 what's what's your takeover position? Um, well, I have a podcast, As Told by MJ, A-S, Told by MJ. People think As, I don't know, whatever, but As Told by MJ, it's the platform for any business, they want to come on and shoot your shot and tell the world what you're doing here in Georgia. That's the place where you need to be. And my modeling, of course. Like, you see me. I know you've seen me before. Yo, I, I see you all <laughs> over the city. Like, like I knew I knew you for a minute. Mm-hmm. Like, taking it back. Yo, you 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 came back with a with a vengeance. Like, two more <laughs> punch, you feel me? Every, every event I pop up there, I see your... your, your uh, you I see my see, media, you see me right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it growing up in New York for you? Crazy. <laughs> um, but amazing. Um, getting to be independent without even knowing, I guess. Because you always don't go. You walk to school, you walk home. Like, it's not like your mom is like picking you up all the time. Like, my mom definitely was like, okay, you can walk to school. It was over with. So. Just that little piece of independence. I mean, it was crazy. It was reckless. You never knew what was going to happen. Who might get shot. You might be in somebody's face. And then you never know. You might not see him again. But, yeah, I guess that's anywhere, huh? <laughs> I mean, hey, but it ain't from New York. It ain't, though. It's yeah. always that type of lifestyle. I'm telling you, for sure. So, what are some of the things that, you know, growing up where you grew up at, what are some of the things that still stick with you today as you're in another state trying to, you know, pursue your career? Everybody's not your friend. Everybody's not your friend. They're not your homie. They not none of that. Um, keep it business before anything. Like, don't get too close, for sure. <laughs> I never get too close. And um, just keep grinding. Keep hustling. You feel me? Like, Keep going, even when things fuck up. Just keep going. That's all. My bad, MJ. I forgot to tell you to mute your phone, babe. I uh -huh. think Bay texting you. Go on my jet, Bay. Bay is texting you. Say that. No, I, I honestly usually have it muted. So this is the first that it's not muted. Take shit. So I'm gonna admit. I'm gonna admit. I I I'm on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Period. I like the fact that your pictures are professional. Like that's crazy. Like you got some really good pictures. So like, what's your what's your inspiration behind that? Or I I don't I don't I hate to ask somebody what you trying to. But what is yeah? What's the end game? I I yeah. I mean I feel like it's a stupid question because your shit is like. Man, yeah. fucking professional. I'm yeah. just clean. I'm trying to see myself on a billboard. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm trying to see myself. I'm trying to be on the billboard. Um, I really never took modeling serious. It became like, it was a hobby. It was something fun to do until I started realizing like, okay, you can really do this. But billboards, maybe I'm trying to um, see myself in CoverGirl or some type of magazines. Besides the ones I've already been in, and um, <laughs> um, and yeah, that's the end goal for my modeling career. Like, staying professional. Um, I ain't really trying to work with nobody. My pictures come out trash. You feel me? Like, so. Have you found it tough being a shorter model? Cause you look taller on TV. I do. I do. Um, it's mad difficult. It's mad difficult. Um, people actually. Look at my pictures, and then they bug me, and then they're like, mm-mm. <laughs> you look way taller than your pictures. They, they looking for this 5'6", five, 5'7", five, chick, and I'm only 5'8". They should have asked, right? They should have asked. should have asked. But, you know, I mean, 
a couple setbacks, minor setbacks, but I mean, I'm just so I can do it. Like, I'm here now, can't change it. Give me them long pants, I'm gonna make sure they work. Man, I'm all full of short people. <laughs> <laughs> short people thing. Everybody know, everybody know the short models be doing their things. I mean, yeah, they do, elongating and just feeling it, cause you know, you have to. Cause if you're short, it's just like being a a stripper that don't got the biggest ass. You gotta put that effort in. You gotta work that pose. You gotta know what you're doing. It's the same thing. Like when you're short, you gotta go harder and show people like, do not sleep on me. Do not. What are some of your other challenges you find um being in a new market that that people might not talk about every day? Uh, you said new a challenge that you find mm-hmm. you you know trying to maneuver through or or how do you move in a room full of vultures? Uh, do you realize there's vultures in the room? Yeah, you definitely realize it. You feel the energy, but um, you stay true to yourself. You stay true to your mind. Like if it's a lot of y'all in there, I'm still coming. Like I'm still coming out. I'm coming regardless. If you love me or you hate me, too many people love me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really get with the bad juju. I don't get with the bad vibes. If you got some type of bad vibe, I know not to speak to you. You feel me? Like you gonna determine how we react. That's what it is. That's, That's what exactly it is. what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> what would you tell a little girl today that looks up to MJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would you tell her um, how she could maneuver to get to where she want to be? If she's short and want to be a model, you know, I hate to bring up the short part because that's really not a hang up. But, but, still, it, but, it is but, but, but sometimes we need encourage. you know, you got to see somebody doing it and you need that extra encouragement. So what would you tell a short model? I'll give a short model and a dark skin model some advice. Ooh, that's how I, I, I tried not to touch that one. You should. Ooh. Tap in. Tap in. Ooh. Tap in. Ooh. Okay, um, short models, just actually elongate. Make sure you know that. Work on your poses. Oh, and get you some mirrors because you look good regardless. You know what I'm saying? Um, and don't give up just because you see mad tall people in the room. Uh, I went to Buckins in New York City where... Every model was tall. I was the shortest model. And literally had to look up to these people and they like, I'm still not giving up type shit. So put yourself in uncomfortable positions and it's gonna make you comfortable regardless. And period. And then for my dark skins models, like you the bomb, girl. My melanated queens. You can do this regardless of the room too. People might come up to you and say you pretty for a dark skin and it's like no, I'm just pretty, period. Like, period. Yeah. <laughs> and they got, they got the nerve to say that. Like, oh, my God. What? I'm 26 and I still get that, yo. I still get that. Like, what does that mean? Like, elaborate on your compliment because then I take offense at them. It's a whole different debate and we in the club. Because what you mean? Exactly. <laughs> like, what you mean? Like, shut up. Uh, so, too many people shit on us, you know what I'm saying? Especially our um, melanated queens rocking that natural hair, rocking that natural beat. Do it, like you still look good. I see you, my sis. So yeah. What's your motivation? Like, what keeps you going? Like, it seems like you don't miss. I mean, I'm pretty. It's a lot of events in the city, but you you definitely do your fair share. What keeps you going? Um, the younger me, I think. Um, the person that that little girl that's like still fighting those demons. That's the person that motivates me, like. Look where I was at when I was a little jet, and then when I look at myself where I'm at now, and I'm like, I can't go back to that place. Can't go back to that person. So I'm fine for her, and I'm fine for me. You know what I'm saying? She's my motivation. She keeps me right all the time. Many me. <laughs> the people want to know what is your zodiac sign? Oh my gosh. A Leo. Gang, gang. Oh, I, I, I was just yeah. crazy. I was getting Aries vibes. Really? I, I was. You I said you was, was getting crazy? I was getting, no, I said, oh. it's not, I said, <laughs> I, said I said, it's crazy. I was getting Aries vibes. Oh, yeah, no. I don't know too many Aries, so I can't really say how they act, but a lot of people guess Virgo. They definitely guess Virgo off, like, real. Mm, yeah. It might be because of that modeling. Like, it seems like only Virgos want to model. <laughs> We just uh, take it over. <laughs> Come on, every shit. Leo gang, Virgo gang, whatever one. I mean, I'm on the cusp, so. Oh, the Leo and Virgo? Yeah, all oh the same Oh my god. <laughs> what? 
a combination. The best combination. I'll be seeing like memes and be like, Virgos be like, Leos be like, and I'm like, I'm both of them. Like, it's like three people in one. Wow. That's <laughs> crazy. That, okay, it makes sense. So, <laughs> what? before a photo shoot, right? What are some of the things you need on set that, you know, it might be a snack, it might be a drink. What some do you need on set? Some wine? I need some wine. Um, red, sweet red, baby. That's my book. She gets me through. Is, this, is it a certain brand you, you like? Um, I like me some Shutter Homes, but it could be any sweet red. It could be the sweet red brand. Like, anything sweet red I need on set at all times. Like I love, I love how you keep it New York. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I love how you keep it gutter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know we needed everything. I'm like, girl, I just need me some wine. Like I'll sit there and sit while y'all still trying to get ready. You know? So wine for sure and slides. Wine and slides. Cause I'm not about to be walking around the hills all day. Mm mm. Mm. So, <laughs> so where can we see you in the next? I'm not even gonna say five years. I'm gonna hit you with the three year piece. You can hit me with the three year piece because I already did a five year and I'm in my I'm two years in, so I can actually do three years. Um so the next three years and I'm trying to see myself on red carpet B T or something like that. What's up next year? Um so that's next year. Uh five shoot, what's three? Twenty seven? Today I want to have a baby. I do want to have my first baby. I want to be 30 at least. 32. Okay, okay, okay. Seven during that time. Um, so I'm probably going to push out a baby my last year. Um, but BT was good. <laughs> Oscars was good. Grammys was good. MTV Awards. And they're going to be on the red carpet. That's all I'm trying to say. At least two years on the carpet, push out this baby. And then I'll go back. Oh my god. <laughs> Did y'all hear that plan? Hey, I can't be mad at it. A plan is a plan. A plan is a plan. I mean, I said I was going to put you on my first kid by 30. So, um, it's about to be 27. So, it's about that time. I'm trying to get the, the juices flowing. <laughs> Speaking of juice. Ooh. What are you, what, what, what is that? This is that wet pussy. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. You wet pussy. Um, Paige, you made it. You don't want to put it all together. It's the new, the new chocolate pussy at Dream House. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new one. It's the chocolate pussy. It's the Hulk, actually. This one is green. Man, hey, it, 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 see, the, the thing about the wet, the chocolate pussy is, it's not what it seems to be. It appears to be a Hulk. But it's yeah. really a chocolate pussy. Yeah. The best one, maybe. The black of <laughs> the berry. The sweet of the juice. Ew. 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 <laughs> I am not about to play with you. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm sipping on. Um, get me right for this interview. You know what I'm saying? So, I am getting right. Period. What is something that you might want to get off your chest tonight? Mm -hmm. And it could be a topic. And, you know, we could go back and forth about it. But if it's nothing, it's nothing. But what is something that kind of like... I don't know, gets under your skin or makes you happy. Like, what you want to talk about? Oh my God, what makes me happy when it gets underneath my skin? What's been getting underneath my skin lately is you niggas that do not know how to properly uh, compliment a bad chick when you see a bad chick, you feel me? Too many DMs is like, uh, I want you or this and that. And it's like, oh my God, where we in? Like, the night crazy? Um... <laughs> <laughs> that has been getting underneath my skin. Um, too many of you niggas is doing that. I don't know if y'all need some type of um, education or whatever. And then um, this thing that's going on with the abortions. Yeah, we got to speak for these women rights. Respect us, our bodies. This is our bodies, not your bodies. Because if it was mandatory for you to get what a vasectomy, you would be tight. So let's talk about it. Like, Damn. <laughs> Yeah. We women, we care, period. We need to be appreciated as well. Because you can't do this without us. So basically, fellas, y'all need a, a class on how to approach a woman. How to approach a woman. Via yeah. DM. Via DM, via face too. <laughs> you act like you seen a ghost. You want my girl. Like, what's up? I gotta approach you. Like, what's up? <laughs> we need a class on, like, teaching men how to, like, approach. Approach a woman. 
via DM, via face to face. But I could, let me debate. Let me debate with you. Okay, let me debate with you. Because it's weird. I'm going to be honest. It's weird. Like, I, I pay attention. I, I watch a lot of stuff. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm around a lot of men and women. You know, okay. maybe you want to take each other clothes off. I see all kind of shit. Mm-hmm. It's the music business. I see it. Okay. But. I noticed that the men that actually are respectful, like the way you say, yeah, women look at them. yeah, women look at them like birds or some shit. But if a nigga be like, "Oh, bring that ass here, bitch," you like it's like, you know what I mean? That nigga get in the play, and the other right. nigga, but he the other nigga might be more savage, but he just got manners because he was raised right the right way. But that happens. what's up with that? Uh, now that that's a whole other piece. That's toxic as fuck. Um, honestly, then you get mad and complain because this the dude that you fell for. But then he the same dude. Like you thought he was gonna be pretty and shit and glamour. After no, so just choosing who you run up to. Like you could tell what kind of shorty is, what kind of shorty. You feel me? And don't be in my ear trying to be riddling all these things in my head. Like at the club, bro. Like. You just just talk and move about your business. Like you ever had somebody buy you a drink and the nigga still right there? It's like, bro, okay, over there. You ever got my number? All that. Like you still over here? What's good? Yeah, that's what he's mesmerized. Yeah, but damn, just full back. Go can buy you a drink, you know, whatever like that, or chop it up with the kid and go about your business. That's more smooth than to be sitting there like, oh, and then they stand there. And then they just like kind of ease on another conversation. It's like, bro, we're in the club. Like, I still ain't, I can't even hear you. Like, you talking about hard in my ear and shit. <laughs> Don't let the music stop. <laughs> Don't let the music stop. You the loudest nigga in the room. Like, <laughs> you <he> in. <laughs> if Shorty shut you down, that's what she like. That's what she into. That's just what she into. That ain't my fault. But somebody like me, yeah. Don't do that to me, type shit. I'm not gonna shut you down because you come to me being all sweet. I like that sweet shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be hard all the time. Dang. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's I good. Good times. Times. Yeah, that's all, very much. So, as far as MJ the podcast, the, what is it? What do you call it? A podcast or you're more like media personnel? Like, mm, I don't title it. Uh, I don't even title it. Like, um, podcast on the move because I'm always on go and I'll say immediate personalities all wraps in into one for me same shit because my podcast is on go I pull up on you and interview you in your space that's dope that's dope Thank you. so what is something that you could leave us with that's encouraging mm. Um, encouraging. Well, I call it on my own um, podcast is an inspirational vitamin, your daily dosage. So I can leave you with that. And I would say off the dome, tomorrow's a whole nother day. So whatever happened today, don't let that affect tomorrow. Like, don't even break it up. Don't think about it. Don't mind that. Just because you got a whole other day to make it better. Correct what happened yesterday as well. So don't let it repeat itself. Let it go. Tomorrow's a blue day, a better day, and whatever happened the day before, happened the day before for a reason. So that's just it. Let it go. Move on. Period. That's dope. I can feel <laughs> it, man. Love your spirit. You feel it? You feel it? Because mm-hmm. I, I feel it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know where we can find you at. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms. Your girl MJ, Y A girl MJ underscore, as told by MJ. You can find it on YouTube, HHN, Hip Hop Network TV. It's an app, it's on Roku, it's a website. You can find me on HHN TV and on Instagram and TikTok, as told by MJ. Tap in with your girl. Come get this interview, come get this exclusive. You only hear it there first. Tap in, tap, tap in. in. Y'all heard it here first. You got anything you want to leave us with before we tap out of here? <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Support each other. Support me. And that's it. And that's what it's going to be. Mm-mm. Y'all just Mm-mm. heard another dope-ass mm-hmm. interview with Plugged In Radio at the boardroom. Y'all see me getting fancy now. We got mics and all that stuff now. I love it. I love it here. I love it here. I appreciate y'all for having me. Well, hopefully we have you back in a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, make sure y'all tap in. Some big things.